Planet Earth is the creator of countless works of natural beauty. Natural stone is one of the Earth's finest pieces of art. From Egyptian pyramids and Hindu temples, to lavish fountains and modern day countertops, stone has been recognized for its durability and aesthetic qualities since before recorded human history. This video is the first in a three-part series developed by Elmar, an internationally recognized natural stone supplier. With five locations in North America and over 50 years of combined experience, the owners of Elmar take pride in the uniqueness of the products they provide. In part one of this three-part series, you will learn the basic properties of granite, marble, soapstone, and onyx, where the stones come from and how they're retrieved, and lastly, how each stone is specifically selected for distribution by LMR. LMR is a supplier of granite, marble, soapstone, and onyx as natural products derived from unique combinations of elements, minerals, heat and pressure, each kind of stone has different aesthetic and physical properties. Granite is comprised of quartz, feldspar, and mica. The bits of translucent color showing up throughout your granite are quartz deposits. The sparkle, that's the mica. Each rock can have more or less of certain minerals, making them look more consistent or more exotic. Although granite is an extremely common natural stone, certain colors and patterns are more rare than others. Blue, for example, is a very rare color to find in natural stone. The more rare, the more expensive. Granite is popular for use on countertops because of its beauty and durability. Granite is a 7 out of 10 on Mohs scale of mineral hardness and can withstand temperatures of up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Granite is slightly porous and can be penetrated by liquids, but by utilizing a household sealer, granite countertops are well protected from potential stains. Marble is made of calcite. It's used in sculptures because it's soft to the touch and has a low reflection of light. Marble makes for beautiful countertops, but keep in mind, it's softer and more porous than granite. Comparatively, marble is a three out of 10 on Mohs scale of hardness. Furthermore, calcite chemically reacts with acid, there is a potential that a marble countertop exposed to acidic foods or liquids could become etched on the surface. You should be comfortable with these properties before you choose marble for a countertop. Like marble, soapstone is also a metamorphic rock. Because the stone is predominantly made of talc, Soapstone is between a 1 and a 2 on Mohs scale of hardness. Soapstone is soft to the touch, resistant to heat, and non-porous, meaning it cannot be penetrated by liquids. For this reason, soapstone is not sealed like granite or marble. Soapstone does tend to develop a patina over time. Mineral oil can be used to balance out the color. Onyx is a cryptocrystalline form of quartz. Onyx can be many different colors with calcite bands often running throughout the stone. 
onyx is softer than marble and very porous, but it's popular due to its translucent qualities. Commonly, onyx is lit from behind so that the light shining through accentuates the various colors in the calcite bands. Natural stone is mined from the crust of the earth where it was formed. It can be found on every corner of the planet. Many different countries mine stone blocks, but not all of them have facilities to cut and polish them into slabs. Most blocks from around the world are shipped to Italy, Brazil, or India to be cut and polished. These three countries are the largest suppliers of natural stone slabs in the world. Stone blocks are removed from the earth by drilling holes into the rock and using explosives, compressed air, or water to break off large blocks. Once the blocks are separated, they are placed onto trucks and delivered to various block yards. Although stone blocks are hard to distinguish without being polished, each block of stone has a unique character. It takes a splash of water and a highly trained eye to recognize the beauty underneath an unpolished rock. Once a block has been chosen by a buyer, it is sent to a gang saw and sliced into two or three centimeter thick slabs. Using the friction of water and steel, these saws will run continuously for two to four days in order to cut one single block. After individual slabs have been created, the bundle is sent to a resin and polishing line. Each slab is heat treated with a polymer resin. Next, the slabs are sent through a polishing line. The degree to which they are polished varies, resulting in different finishes. The matted and textured looks of honed and leathered finishes are popular alternatives to the more common high gloss polish. Once the color, pattern, and polish has been approved by LMR's buyer, the slabs are ready to be shipped to the US.
transported by cargo ships, the slabs may take weeks, if not months, to arrive at their final destinations. When they do arrive, a whole new part of the stone selection process begins. This time with you, selecting the perfect stone for your project. In part two of this three-part video series, we will explore the stone selection process and Elamar's role within it.